Oh, I love the place you have here. I'm in a shop somewhere and we're suing my African prince quail shit trying to push the made in Ghana agenda. But the bag I have is not made in Ghana. Well, I'm in luck because the shop I'm in belongs to Selina Bev, the phenomenal fashion designer who specializes in, you know, top of the range handbags, accessories, shoes and many others. So I'm going to go in and do some shopping for some special people in my life. Selena Bev is a Ghanaian fashion brand that specializes in quality bags and accessories. The products are made with genuine leather and carefully selected African fabrics as well as lovely beads and brass or silver pendants. Hey, hey. these are lovely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, is it possible? Can I get some for my mom? Yes, you can. <laughs> and buy for every other woman in your life. <laughs> I like that. So I've seen the accessories, I've seen the beautiful bags and the shoes. Now it's time to get personal with the name behind the brand, Selena Beb. Wow, it's a wonderful place you have here. Thank you. I love the bags. Thank you, Bobby. So tell me, mm -hmm. how did it all start for you? Um, the Selena Beb brand started in 2012. Okay. Um, since I was a teenager, I've always been passionate and I've loved handbags. I thought that um, one day when I'm like, 50 and I've made so much money, I will just go to Italy and then get a factory to produce my own range of leather handbags. You know, okay. that was the dream, but it was, you know, it's one of those dreams that you think will never come to reality or will never come to pass. Uh, but um, I was living in England for 11 years and moved back to Ghana in 2008. Since I moved back, I realized that African print accessories, especially bags, were really trendy and people liked them. And I loved them, you know, so um, I started buying them. And whenever I buy them and I hold them and I use them, the kind of reaction I get is always good. People want okay. to buy them of me. They want to mm. nick them of me. Yeah, and they compliment <laughs> me as well. So it was the beginning of 2012 that I started thinking, why don't I start, uh, start, something. start something, you know, and I actually dreamt about it, you know. <laughs> yes, when I started, I knew nothing about, you know, designing and all that. All I knew was I love to look good. Yeah, so that is how it started for me and I decided to try my hands at it. Tell me about some of the challenges, the key challenges you face. Uh -huh. It was quite a big challenge finding the right person to do the first handbag for me. And even the first one, I wasn't too happy. I was maybe 50% satisfied, you know, but as time went on, that particular bag maker I started off with improved, okay. you know. So the biggest challenge at the beginning was finding the human resource, the right people to give me the right quality. You know, yeah. I know that you place a lot of emphasis on the, the items being handmade. Why is that? Because handmade stuff, that means first of all, it's exclusive, yeah. it's bespoke. Yeah. That means not so much has been produced, so yeah. you wouldn't see a too many repli replicas around. And it also means that a lot of hard work has gone into it. And uh, I won uh, the Accessories Designer of the Year at the oh. Glade Style Awards last year. Okay. So that's the ultimate uh, compliment or good feedback. That means I'm doing something right, I'm doing something well. So the year 2016. I mean, what, what will be the trend, I mean, from your perspective as a, as, as a designer? Um, I think we're going to see more of the Celine bags, which are the bags that sort of pops up at the sides. Okay. And we've got our own version. It's called the Jocelyn Dumas bag. Oh. Yes. Um, in 2016, we're going to see more of the box-shaped bags as well. Okay. It started in 2015. People really, really love it. We have our version. It's called the Kokri bag. <laughs> <laughs> And then we, uh, in 2016 as well, I think the bags with the wooden handles are going to be trending as well. Mm -hmm. We've got our own version here as well. The Racy is from the Racy collection. Mm -hmm. And then um, clutches as well. Clutches are so, so invoked every year. And in 2016, it's even going to be bigger. Okay. Because um, anytime you have a party, yeah. you're going to church, you have an evening event, you hold a clutch. Yeah. And then the satchel bags as well. Satchel bags too uh, will or are trending in 2016. Mm -hmm. So another bag that will be trending in 2016 is the man bag. Okay. Yes, I think every metrosexual man likes man bags. You look like a metrosexual man. Ah, uh, well, yeah, we, 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 try, well we try, we try, we <laughs> try. The Selena Bear brand is not just local, it is international, but how far? Has the brand gone? My brand has gone as far as Europe and America as well. Yes, I've got loads of customers in England and in Italy. I've got a big clientele in South Africa and Nigeria as well. Oh. They love the bike, so it's, uh, it's becoming global. Like she said, she dreams of having a brand celebrated across the world, and we do wish her very well. On that note, let's bring you today's Enjoy Trivia. This program is proudly sponsored by Gandor Cosmetics and Societe General Ghana.